Right up Piper and Victoria could be affected by this thunderstorm. Tornado warning continues till 545 today for another couple of minutes. Unless uh, we hear otherwise from the National Weather Service, they've got a Doppler radar that is indicating a uh, tornado. The tornado was located around the Hill City area. And that is moving to the north at about 30 miles per hour. Tornado warning remains in effect for eastern Trigo County. Right down the road, just a little piece. Another couple of minutes for that. That's Ryan, you got it ready? For you. Here this afternoon and this evening. like the wipers. We can't get away from the... Thunderstorm capable of moving up to one inch Yeah, get out, but try to keep the camera dry. Moving north at 30 miles per hour. Locations impacted include the rural areas of north central Ellis County. Oh, turn around. It's coming right at us. In addition to large hail and damage, it's, it's got a tornado. It's taking a few minutes. Get turned around. A tornado in a car or truck. Get out of the car immediately and take shelter in a nearby building. If there's no time to get inside, get out of the car and lie in a ditch or low-lying area away from the vehicle. Some disaster supplies you should have on hand include a flashlight. Stay with Eagle Radio. Hold. Tornado warning continues until 545 today. Another couple of minutes for has issued a tornado warning for southeastern Ellis County and northeastern Rush County in central Kansas. Include the rural areas of southeastern Ellis County, the rural areas of northeastern Rush County, Loretta, Pfeiffer, and Walker. The safest place to be during a tornado is in a basement. Get under a workbench or other piece of sturdy furniture. If no basement is available, seek shelter on the lowest floor of the building in an interior hallway or room such as a closet. Use blankets or pillows to cover your body, and always stay away from windows. If in mobile homes, evacuate them and get inside a substantial shelter. If no shelter is available, lie flat in the nearest. Get out of the car and lie in a ditch or low-lying area away from the vehicle. Some disaster supplies you should have on hand include a flashlight with extra batteries, portable battery-operated radio, first aid kit and manual, emergency food and water, and cash and credit cards. In case of a tornado warning, stay with Eagle Radio whole broadcasting for continued severe weather coverage. Continued weather coverage continues here. Uh, first off, um, I believe we have uh, Nolan Banks. Nolan, are you with us here? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Nolan Banks is a trained weather spotter, and um, maybe, Nolan, you can tell us where you're at and uh, what you're seeing out there here this afternoon. I am uh, southwest of Victoria right now, and I'm getting quite a bit of heavy rain, but that's about it. The storm looks like it's starting to break to the south. And it's starting to break to the south? Uh, Large the tornado. Sky, Wide tornado. Okay. It is on the ground. It's just about to cross Interstate 70. We're good. Don't need to move yet. Oh, sweet. Oh, good thing nobody's on the highway there. Okay, so that would probably be crossing over uh, the interstate area here in just a few minutes as well. Good thing nobody's on the highway there. <laughs> um, Craig, we'll get back with you here in just a few minutes. Can you keep in touch with us today? Yeah. Let us know. All right, so we're going to go back over and uh, see what else we've got going on. Uh, Nolan, are you still with us today? I am. Okay. Uh, are you guys getting to the north area at all? Are you uh, a little bit. We're going to get north now. Victoria. 
Ryan, okay. you are take over the camcorder. Or is that uh, well, all the recording? Okay. Yeah. I cannot leave it to see it.
have to go to an inner hallway. Or we're in the light in the room. Yep. Uh, 